Right, folks, I am on my way to do a podcast with In Brothers Words. Couple of brothers, Tom and Robbie, just going to sit there and have a chat. They asked me to come over, so I'm actually in the town of, is it a town, village, mining, whatever, swaddling coat, right? Uh, nothing about wrapping up the baby Jesus in it. Um, yeah, just over to swaddling coat. So I thought while I was here... Uh, I'd do a review on some fish and chips. Make it a bit different, you know what I mean, folks? Make it a bit, uh, make, go a bit further across the country. Uh, so, I've popped into Andy's. I've ordered a small cod, uh, chips, and a small mushy peas. Um, I don't want to be greedy because I don't know whether June will be cooking dinner tonight. I'll be cooking dinner, and I don't know if these lads who I'm going to go and talk to, they might have something. So, but I thought, while I'm at it, I'll go for it. So, Mini cod and chips. There we go, folks. Mini cod and chips. Now, inside, it all looked very nice, uh, very clean. They've got a good hygiene standard. Uh, they've got all the COVID um, barriers up, uh, one way system, and all that kind of gubbins. Um, he's got a massive fish tank in there. It's fucking huge, this fish tank. And he's got the fish that are massive in it. They're, they're not like you get at a bloody fairground attraction. Um, they are absolutely massive. This big white thing, it's fucking huge. Never seen, well, I've seen fish like it, but you know what you say. You know what I'm saying. So anyway, um, here we go. I've had a cod of chips, as I've said. I'm repeating myself. So... We all know the situation. There's a big park thing over there. A load of grass and trees. Where you walk your dog. But it's very built round here. Or built up or whatever it is. But uh, yeah, there we go. Uh, so we all know the way it goes, folks. Let's tuck in. Chip. Well, they're alright. They're alright. Nice and fluffy on the inside. A good size chip. Everyone's a good size chip, you know. Mm. Tell you what. They're not the best chips I've had, but there's nothing wrong with them. They're a good size chip. I mean, look at that. Can't see it, can you? Because I can't get it. Oh, God. I don't know. Let me see if I can do it. I'm going to try and do it. Right, so I put my hand there, apparently, and that there. Hey, look at that. It's a good sized chip. Look at that. For the visually impaired, I'm holding the chip up, and it's quite long. It's a good four or five inches long. Mmm. These are good. I'm impressed. I'm impressed with the chips. Now, the main part. The main part. Uh, nice and fluffy white cod. Bit brown there at the bottom, but that's just, you know, is that skin or whatever that's underneath? I don't know. Let's see how it tastes. I tell you what, folks, let's have another let's tuck in. So, are we all going to say it? One, two, three, let's tuck in. Thank you very much. Mm. The batter's nice and crispy. The fish is okay as well. Somebody walking by who walks with being cute. Looks like they've shit themselves. That ain't too bad, you know. I am impressed. There's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with that at all.
So is there another chip shop in Swad? I don't know. I work with a bloke called Pete, who's from Swad. That fish is quite good. Just eat the, the, the fish on its own. Oh, for fuck's sake, I can pick it up. That's all right. It's got that cut pretty well. The, the batter's not soggy. It's quite crispy. You know how sometimes the batter's get all soggy and they get a soggy bottom and stuff? Oh, there's the police. There he goes, walking by. He looks like he's shit himself and all. Well, sometimes you get soggy batter, don't you? It goes a bit... Mind you, I always think that... Well, this is June's uh, uh, theory as well. That um, fish and chips taste a lot better in a box. And not when it's been wrapped up. Because when it's been wrapped up, it's all... It goes moist. Right, let's put some peas on. Oh, peas are nice and gloopy. I'll show you in a minute, folks. Peas are nice and gloopy. I'll put them on my little tray on my dashboard. Um, they're not very green. But, uh, you know, right, I see how the peas go. Because I'm a big fan of mushy peas. I love mushy peas. Um, just put a load of um, mint sauce in there and all. Yeah. They're good. But they just taste a little bit watery kind of thing. You know, they're just a bit weak kind of yeah i've had better peas but can't fault your fish and it i can't fault the size of your chips i mean look another massive chip the size of that oh i i'm impressed I don't know whether it means anything. To be fair, if I'm impressed or not, you lot might not think. Bloke just got out of a pickup. He looks like he's shit himself and all. You're going in through the outdoor knobhead. Unbelievable. Don't you know there's a pandemic on? Or perhaps he's just a rebel. Perhaps he signed the Great Barrington Reef thing or what it is. Mm. I'm impressed. I didn't have any breakfast this morning on purpose so I could eat this. Um, the size of these chips are massive. The chips are as big as it's... Oh! I broke that one. Oh, bugger. Um... His chips were as big as his fish in his tank. It's good. I like to see that fish thing in the... Mind you, it must be a bit bad for the fish. Because, like, they're swimming around in that tank. And they're, I bet they're all thinking, shit, hope I ain't next. I can never understand that either. Going in a restaurant and saying, I don't know where they do it. I've seen it before, and they go in and they'll say, right, I'll have that fish, or I'll have that lobster, I'll have that crab. That's a bit, you know what I mean? You don't actually go into a field and say, right, I'll have that fucking sheep, or I'll have that cow. Put it, chop it up and put it in a bag for me like it's bloody Dennis Nielsen. You know what I mean? You just don't do it. So, folks, £7.49, mini fish, chips, and a small peas. In Andes, in Swad, Swaddling Coat. Um, I'm impressed. Oh, another good sized chip.
I don't know what days he's open. You'll have to look on his website. It's quite good, really. He's made his name. He's made his name Andy's into the shape of a fish. Looks quite good. So. <clears throat> Right, folks. Oh. I do apologise because the bloke in the white pickup truck, I think he might have been delivering something, potatoes or something. Oh, here we go. Right, what time we got? It's ten past twelve, nearly. I've got to go and do this podcast. So people, um, check out In Brothers Words on YouTube. And then, you'll see what uh, they're going to ask me. And all that kind of stuff. <laughs> Football and feelings as well. Why ain't nobody watching that one? This is good. I'm going to finish these peas off. Set you up for the day, this will. So, a recap, folks. Um... Thoroughly enjoyed the chips. I thoroughly enjoyed the fish. All nice and clean inside there. Chip shop. Uh, big massive fish tank. I think the peas could do with a bit more salt or something like that. They just seem a little bit weak. Do you know what I mean, folks? Do you know what I mean? You don't want a weak pea, do you? But apart from that, people, if you're driving through Swad and you fancy some chips, Pop into Andy's and say, BBM sent me. Laters.